What's up guys, Max here, and man, the news of Soul Calibur 2 HD had me so freaking excited, you have no idea. So let's do a quick breakdown of some of the news and information that's come as a result of this game. Soul Calibur 2, in its amazing release glory back on the PlayStation 2, Xbox, and GameCube version is coming back on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. The price hasn't been released, but it is going to be fully capable online and released this fall. It is actually not that far away, I can't freaking believe it. What's amazing about this is the fact that I think the netcode and what they've mentioned before during the panel, which I sadly did not get to go to, was talking about the netcode being worked exclusively for this game in tandem with the guys that worked in the netcode for Tekken Tag Tournament 2 and Soul Calibur 5. Which is really good because Tekken Tag Tournament 2 might actually have the best 3D fighting game netcode out there of any fighting game. And I'm really looking forward to see what they can actually do with the online modes and how the netcode works out and like a practice mode in between rounds and all that cool stuff that Tekken actually does. I'm looking forward to see what, Nam to see what Namco has in store for us as far as Soul Calibur 2. And the bigger issue as a result of all this, and you guys definitely know, Soul Calibur 2 was a really, really, really popular fighting game back in the day because it did something that not a lot of fighting games did. It was the first one to have guest characters. Yeah, guest characters, the thing that happens so frequently in fighting games nowadays, Star Wars this and Ezio that and all that stuff, it started mostly with Soul Calibur 2. The PlayStation 2 version had exclusively Heihachi, the Xbox version had Spawn, which was my personal favorite version, and the GameCube version had Link. And all these versions sold really well, although Link on GameCube was by far the most popular. This is all between the success with like Melee having a lot of success on GameCube and people just naturally just went over to Soul Calibur 2 because it seemed like a lot of fun and you can just kind of press buttons and do really good in Soul Calibur 2. The thing is, if this game is going to be really good online, I don't know if I'll be making any return shortly to Soul Calibur 5 because I was actually planning that. I really did want to jump back into Soul Calibur 5 over the past few months and it seemed like a lot of fun just because I enjoy the style of these games, but dude... Soul Calibur 2 is one of my favorite, so or one of my favorite fighting games ever. Like I absolutely love the hell out of it. Even even so that I followed it so much back in the day, we imported the GameCube version for my Panasonic GameCube that I got off a guy way back in the day when I worked at Electronics Boutique, and we got controller like converters. We put PlayStation 2 controllers on our GameCube, and it was amazing. We played the game for like three months straight before it was even out in the United States, I believe. It was awesome. I, I couldn't believe it. It was just the most perfectly made fighting game as far as a sequel to Soul Calibur. And then when the character exclusivity came along with like Necrid was on I think all the versions, Spawn showed up. I was I was jazzed as hell for Spawn because he was really big back in the day. But I don't think any of that stuff is going to come back. Like I think the only character we're possibly going to see is Heihachi because Heihachi is still owned by Namco. Like Tekken is still a thing with Namco so... There's no crazy rights or distribution issues or like, you know, anything like that. So I think Necrid, I think Spawn, and I think Link aren't going to see the light of day in any way whatsoever. Which is really sad because the game's only coming out on PS3 and Xbox 360. And I don't know why exactly it's not coming out on Wii U. It's a little weird to think that in the state we're at right now, the Wii U actually needs games and people just aren't making games for it with like Strider recently being announced not being on Wii U with Soul Calibur 2 online not being on Wii U you would think that it'd be a really good opportunity to bring in a lot of sales because the GameCube one was the most popular one of them all like way back in the day everyone played the GameCube one because it had freaking Link in it and he was the most popular character and you would think that this would be a good incentive to release the game on you know Nintendo's new system but I, I guess not and I can really hardly blame Namco. It's like a big risk thing. Like you gotta, you're worried that your your system, your game isn't gonna sell on this system, and it's not even gonna be worth the time to port it over or the money. So you just don't do it. I think Nintendo needs to get on the ball with this stuff. I really think that this isn't exactly the fault of developers and publishers with the how expensive it is to make games now. I really think it needs to be in the hands of the console like developers, the people that actually make the console and the companies behind them to go to Namco and go to Capcom and be like, guys, what do we have to do to get you to put this game in our system? And who knows, maybe it's a Japanese thing, maybe it's a very, like, Japanese game development philosophy. I don't know. I have no idea what's going on, but I would like to see some games on the Wii U at some point besides, like, the launch titles and just first-party titles. So, in summary, I'm I'm jazzed. Like, I'm, I'm really freaking jazzed because I debuted that game back in the day. I have freaking a Soul Calibur 2 like limited edition cell art from way 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 back in the day and this was 
released with only a few different versions of, um, I think this is only for the GameCube version of the game. So dudes, I also have like this giant Soul Calibur 2 poster from the arcade, uh, and it was specifically for the arcade version that you would hang in front of like the windows of arcades. I, I love the crap out of this game. It's my one of my. I actually say it's probably my favorite 3D fighting game ever made. I, I I've definitely have had the most fun with this one over any, and you learn from your mistakes pretty fast. I'd say the one that comes closely after that is probably Tekken Tag Tournament Two or Tekken Tag Tournament One. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm I'm pretty jazzed. I don't think Soul Calibur Five: The Online Warrior is coming back, but we will take to the skies once again in the HD re-release of Soul Calibur Two. I'll be using Nightmare with Siegfried's skin. I probably won't be using Siegfried very much because he looks kind of lame in the game. But Kalik and Mitsuryugi, dude, let's go. My body is ready, and I will see you guys online this fall. My name is Max, and I'll see you next time.